Hey, I thought I'd show people how I use my controller on games that don't natively support controllers. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a couple games I don't really play. <laughs> I'm playing KOF a lot less. Honkai I haven't really played in a while. I've got Combat Kings, which I need to do an overview for at some point. Uh, Rockman X Dive, I didn't really like. Uh, 100 Soul, I've been kind of giving a little bit of a chance. Seems like it might replace KOF for me over time. So what you need to do is you need to download Mantis Gamepad Pro. Uh, you can find it on the Play Store. You don't have to do anything like download QAP or anything. Just find it on the store and download it. Uh, the one caveat is that you do need either a PC or a different phone to uh, load the program on. Apparently it needs access to another phone or PC to actually activate the program. Uh, there is no root access required. It does not ask for any BS permissions. Uh, it's not going to ask to look at your camera to, you know, map some controller options and stuff. So <laughs> uh, I, I recommend it. I, I heard the other ones are really shady with uh, the permissions and needing root access and stuff. This one is the best one out there. Uh, it works with pretty much everything I've tried. Um, the Razer Kishi I'm using actually has very terrible uh, compatibility. Uh, it doesn't support a lot of games natively. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining about it. Apparently it doesn't even work on like the really popular AAA phone games like uh, PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds and Fortnite and stuff, Call of Duty Mobile, things like that. Uh, with this, you could theoretically use it. However, um, it would probably be harder in a game like that because you need the, the aiming and stuff. I'm not sure how, how functional it would be, but for the standard phone game or emulation or uh, other program that just has the buttons on the screen, and this will work perfectly. So what you need to do is just click on Mantis Gamepad Pro. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole process here because uh, I'm not at home. But basically, when you download it, it will give you the instructions. Um, if you have another phone laying around, it may be easier to do that than do it from the PC. Uh, it's up to you. But as you can see, these are the games I play with, uh, with this device. So mostly KOF. I play 100 Soul with it. Honkai, I haven't really been playing much. If I did get back into that, I already did set up the controls for that. Uh, I don't think I have any of these games updated. And KOF is on maintenance right now, so let's just try 100 Soul. So you'll see this icon here. This is basically what you click on to uh, map the buttons. It's pretty self-explanatory. I don't want to screw up the recording by showing it. I think uh, from game to game it would greatly vary anyway. <laughs> I don't think it will matter that much. So let's just get into some gameplay really quick. I had to go ahead and uh, update the game off camera. I, I, I like this game. I just haven't really had time to play it. <laughs> PSO 2 has kind of been my service game lately and when I'm at my kitty sitting job like I am now, uh, I tend to just play other stuff, emulators and things for Steam Link. Okay, let's get into a fight so you guys can see how it works. This game is pretty awesome, but boy, the music is like... I don't know how to describe it. Generic summer movie music <laughs> from Hollywood. Like those 10-hour mixes of epic battle music you can find on YouTube. <laughs> it's like not memorable in the slightest. There you go, you can see it there. You gotta see it there for a little bit. Pretty fair game in terms of, uh, in terms of the mechanics and stuff, you 
kind of just play as one guy, and uh, the companions are what you do the loot boxes for, but I think you can earn the majority of them. They also have a, a, a nice amount of cash packages, too, um, that just gives you them outright. Uh, considering how fair this game is with monetization, I think that's better than something like KOF, where you know you need like 10 dudes of somebody just to play them at all. Um, overall, Mantis Gamepad Pro will help with pretty much any device. Uh, you should be able to use it with a Bluetooth control as well. Um, I recommend the Razer Kishi because a lot of programs actually support it natively. Um, RetroArch supports it natively. Uh, Steam Link does as well. So. Uh, RetroArch and Steam Link will not need Mantis Gamepad Pro. However, uh, things that don't have native controller support or they have bad controller support, uh, KOF All-Star has really bad controller support, which is funny because I think they actually did a, a collaboration sponsorship thing with Razer, which like makes no sense because I spent like an hour trying to get it to work with that game, and then I found Mantis Gamepad Pro, and that just solved the problem completely. Uh, overall, if you use things like Steam Link, uh, I would recommend using it as well. Like if I go into RetroArch here, hold on a minute. You will need to kill the process. You will need to kill the process because it will uh, it will conflict with programs that do have native controller support. So. If you're playing like something with Mantis and you want to go into something that have native that has, that has native support, uh, then you will want to go into the uh, the scroll menu at the top of your phone and just kill the process. Uh, it won't kill the entire thing, so you won't have to go back to your computer or your other mobile device to uh, put it back on. It will just remove the icon. It, it used to not do that, but uh, the program's a lot more stable now. I've only had to actually physically go home and, and reactivate it uh, a couple times. It is pretty much a good solution. Uh, if you have a Razer Kishi and Mantis Gamepad Pro, uh, majority of, of mobile games and emulators and stuff that have crap controller support, uh, effectively you should be able to play them with pretty much full parity. So as you can see, if I go into here and uh, let's load a recent game here. There you have it. You can see what I'm pressing on the side, but I actually am not using the touch screen. I'm using the Razer Kishi. Uh, I'm going to put the link for this in the description. Uh, for Android, it goes for about $80. I think it's worth it. The buttons aren't the best. The D-pad is a little bit kind of squeaky. <laughs> but with this setup, it basically will give you uh, full compatibility with pretty much any game. Fortunately, for playing fighting games like this, it's not ideal. <laughs> I can't do my infinites like this. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Just thought I'd show this to people. Overall, uh, you will want the Razer Kishi, and then you want Mantis Gamepad Pro. Uh, if you don't want to get a Razer Kishi, which, for my purposes, I've got two kitties on the couch with me right now. <laughs> uh, it actually is quite nice to have it this way because it basically effectively works as uh, better Joy-Cons. You can use it like this and then just kill the process when you want to play something with native controller support. Thanks for watching.